I got something to tell you. You guys missed that thing? I know you did. Don't play with me. Damn. So yeah, sorry about my absence of not posting. I've been in Utah for a while for Thanksgiving and I'm back, baby. If you guys want to follow my Instagram, it's Griffin Blanchard YT. I posted a lot of updates there while I was in Utah and we did a Q&A and if you weren't there, you missed it. Today we're doing a couple different things. So we have a BMW 340i that makes like 500 wheel horsepower. Your boy's taking it for the day. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. And I got a buddy who's absolutely in love with these things. So I'm gonna take him for a ride in it, get his reaction. And then that same buddy has a gutted GTI. We're gonna take a ride in that thing. Maybe get a little race in, baby. I don't really know yet. I'm winging it, dude. Another thing that I wanted to say, um, I'm also, well, you know what? It's hard for me to actually put it into uh, like words. So I'm just gonna show you. I'm sick of Jen. I also got a haircut that makes me look like a Q-tip. Damn, he said what? Yeah, I said I look. I got a haircut that makes me look like a Q-tip. Pretty legit. That came straight from my girlfriend, by the way. I didn't make that up. My girlfriend told me that, so that's unlucky, right? Anyways, all right, let's go get breakfast from Chick-fil-A if we can make it. It's like 10:20. Let's see what happens. Hello, how you doing? Great. How are you? Did I make it on time for breakfast? I think I did, right? Yeah. All right. All right. Sounds good. Yes. Just pulled up on this and goddamn, it looks really good. Oh, damn, it's on Triple H too, I think. What's going on? What's good, baby? Got hey. ourselves a 340i, damn. So I sell stickers and uh, they fell out of my backpack earlier. This for our buddy that just broke his back dirt biking, so clapped. Hey. <laughs> and big brace guy, because he's got a back brace. Big brace guy. We were going to get a 340i and we got it. And it's 500 wheel horsepower and I found out 600 torque. So, can I talk to him real quick yeah, about absolutely something? Absolutely, you may. Uh, funny enough, this is like one of the cars I'm looking at that I'm super interested in buying. So this will be a really good experience for myself. So thank you for watching. And uh, I just hope you guys enjoy my own entertainment, possibly buying one of these. I like the way that sounds, even I though it's, it's like, not it's, that loud. Like it sounds like, I like that, I've told you this before. I think you're the same way. I like the air pushing out noise. Right. It's More not, than like it's a, not a growl. Note. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Hey, Josh. Good on ya! Yeah. Sounds like something. <laughs> Dude, I love the way that sounds. Yeah. I really, like, no joke, like, no, I, I get excited when I hear, like, that type of exhaust. Yeah. Especially if I'm driving it. Right. This is a nice car. No, it is a nice car. It's a super nice car. For, for like, what, 35, 40 yeah. grand? Oh, little tail happy little boy. Tail whippy boys. Oh, whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, I think honestly, like more than even the horsepower, I think the torque. Oh, well, is what rare, I like. rare, rare. This is it, baby. Pretty sick. Perfect amount of power. Yeah, like it's not, definitely not it's like too much. It honestly, to me, it, it doesn't really feel like 500 horsepower. It definitely feels like 380, 400 maybe. Right. Like I know that this car is a hell of a lot quicker than my car, but it doesn't really feel like that much quicker, to be honest. I At least in my own head. it pulls down power better because it's rear wheel drive. Yeah, it definitely does. It's just a lot of torque. It's just I fun. fuck with it though. It's, it's so fun. It's really sick. Another cut. Wow, they just, they're right. out today. They just turned to the left there. I feel like I wish it was a little bit more rowdy. Like, I don't, I know. really like this car and I, I, like, of course I would take one of these, but like, it's, I think it's just me having like a really light, small car. Like, nothing is better than that, in my opinion. Like, right. there really isn't. Like, even though this is 500 horsepower, like, I don't know. Like, I just still feel like my car feels just as fast and it's not even done. Like, this I is much know. faster, this obviously. Like, I like the planting part of it. Like, yeah. how heavy you are to the ground. Yeah, yeah. If he said in first gear to shift a little short, otherwise right. it will cut you off, so. I was gonna say, probably doesn't. I mean, it's just so easy to, like, dip out. You know what but I mean? But it's not like what we like, though. We can have control. Like, control no, no, it's good. Controlled. Even though but it's- But also having a little play. Like, yeah. a lot of play, but. Even though it's control. fun, it didn't feel like, I mean, obviously it doesn't feel out of control at all. That's like the whole point of the car, I think. Right. Everything feels like it's okay. I also like how he put the Alcantara. Yeah, that's, that's or was factory. That? Oh, it was? Yeah, it is. All the carbon and everything. He thought it was aftermarket, but it turned yeah. out it's like a $2,000 package. You got super lucky with it. Oh, wow. Yeah. MW. It's just so nice. Like, 
even if you don't want to go fast, it's just, it's just like a nice drive. It's really nice. Well, enjoy yourself. Say goodbye to the to the boys. Boys, it was a pleasure seeing you guys again. Glad I was able to make it to another video. That sounded really dark. Um, if you guys needed any stickers done, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put my own tag in there. I make stickers with a Z. Throw one in the tag. If you guys need anything done, I got you. Give them a little kiss for me. No problem. But I can do it right now. So. Oh, you wouldn't want to do that. All right. Thing's pretty sick. So yeah, this thing is pretty sick. Obviously, it's a 340i. Everyone knows they're good, but full bolt-on E30. They fucking, they move. They really, really move fast. Honestly, it's a little bit heavy for my liking, but yeah, this thing moves. Some of the OGs might remember this spot. This is where I did like a lot of my first videos at. <laughs> they were terrible. <laughs> I wanted to talk to you guys about something. I was kind of curious to see what you guys thought. So I want to make this a track car. Obviously, I think that was kind of obvious based off the way I'm building it. One thing I definitely need is coilovers and I need a couple other things and I'm trying to figure out what they are. What do you guys think about putting a roll bar in the back of this thing? Like an actual little half cage. I think that'd be super beneficial. It would tighten the chassis up a ton and honestly just, it would look sick. I'd do it bright red, it would match the seats. And I'm, by the way, a lot of you guys don't like the, that it's not tinted. Dude, I like that it's not tinted. I like that it's see-through. I like the little fishbowl look. Here's my issue though. So I want to get another car for the channel at some point. I want to get something rear wheel drive because I want to start going to drifting competitions and like learning how to do that and just having a real drive car would be really cool, honestly. So I'm trying to decide, do I continue to spend money on this thing or do I stop and invest it into something different that would further the channel maybe or and or just be more fun for me, honestly. Like I love this thing and I want to take this to Chuckwalla. I want to take it to Laguna Seca. I want to take it a bunch of different places, but how much more money needs to be sunk into this thing is my question. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Like it's not worthy to have more money sunk into it because in my opinion, it totally is. I would go crazy with this thing if I had unlimited money, but I don't. And I want to be able to build another car for the channel. Like I said, I want to go drifting. So I want to do the final touches on this thing. I think that would be in my opinion, like coilovers, a roll bar, and better tires, honestly. And I, I think that's it. Maybe, I mean, everything else we have at home is, is ready to go in the car. Like single port, that's like the last power mod I'm gonna do, I think. Like, unless I go absolutely ape shit and just go like 2860, which I don't see the need for that. So yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what the future of this thing's gonna be. I mean, I can't wait to take it to the track once it's all done, but I'm just trying to think ahead. Also, it is like, embarrassingly dirty. I know you can see this, like that's insane. It hasn't been cleaned for two weeks since I left for Boise and it hasn't been cleaned since I got back. So it's been like three and a half weeks just sitting in the rain, <laughs> like getting absolutely destroyed. But yeah, so the half, the half cage would go from here and it would allow me to get harnesses, first of all, for these seats, which I think are super important. And it wouldn't, it wouldn't be like a full cage. Like it wouldn't go all the way back here. It would stop, I'm pretty sure it would just stop here there'd be a bar like above and around here and then like two poles that connect down to some part of the frame over here. I'm not sure how exactly it works, but it's nothing too crazy. So it should, I mean, it's not like it's going to make it undrivable or like, or like, you know, any less practical to be honest with you. Plus my back seats are already out. Like how much more unpractical can it get? <laughs> so yeah. And also I appreciate all the suggestions you guys had about all the cars that you wanted me to look into for rear wheel drive. I looked into them and there are some good prices for sure. Not quite there yet because it's still like, you know, money that I don't have, but we're getting there. I'm working hard, I'm saving, we're getting there. It'll be soon enough. All right, that brings us to the very end of the video here, but if you stay till the very end, I got a little nugget for you, dude. I got a little nugget. If anyone is in SoCal, so I'm in San Diego, I'm in like Encinitas, Carlsbad, Solana Beach, area, Acadia. If anyone in that area has wheels that fit this car that wanna trade, I'd be interested and open to hearing the options. I don't know, I've been thinking about it. I want. I kind of want to change up the setup a little bit. I don't like the black on white look, like I said. And yeah, so if you got anything different, please DM me at Griffin Blanchard YT, and I'd be happy to look into it and check it out. Can meet up and I'll give you a ride in this thing if you want. I don't know, it'd be kind of cool. Anyways, boys, next video, expect something with ethanol, I hope. I sent the revision in for Dizzy. Hopefully he gets me the base map soon enough so I can make a video on it, but we are back to our weekly posting schedule. I will be posting every single week from here on out. The holidays got crazy, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of lagged a little bit, but I'm back and I'm better than ever and I'm still a little bit sick, like I said in the beginning of the video, but I'm recovering nicely, so we're good. And uh, yeah, boys, I appreciate everything. Thank you for sticking around to the end of the video and I'll catch you on the next one, peace.